Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana and what we're going to do is we're going to start a series, a few videos on amphibians and I thought what better way to start that off than with this cool thing right here. Look at that! It's real. I know you're probably thinking that's just a big blob on a log. No, it's a frog. It is called a white tree frog. Looks like he's smiling at me. And they're from Australia and the New Zealand area. Now, the cool thing about tree frogs is, well, they get their name because they live in trees. And you may notice on this guy, we'll see if we can get some good close-up shots, he's got these big giant toes that are big and flat. And those toes are actually, well, kind of think of them as big suction cups. Helps him to kind of suction his foot on the tree so he can climb up trees and not fall down. In fact, it's not uncommon in Australia to see these guys boop, suctioned onto a windowsill or a window right in your own house. Kind of a cool thing. Now, a couple things I want you to notice about this guy in particular is big eyeballs. He's nocturnal, so those big eyes, of course, allow him to see really well in low light levels. And the other thing you're going to notice is his skin. You may notice I've got these funny looking smurf hands, these blue hands. Well, there's a reason for that. Their skin is really delicate to the human touch. We have oils and a lot of weird stuff in our skin. If I were to touch her, well, that could cause some problems to her skin. So I wear these gloves to protect her because that skin is so delicate. Now, like all amphibians, what's neat about them? She breathes through that skin. So that skin is really important to her. In fact, it's so important to her that if there's a toxin in the air, if there's something bad in the air and it, she breathes it in that skin, she can get really sick and die. And in the wild, if a lot of frogs start dying, we know something bad is in the air. So a lot of scientists really study these incredible animals to figure out, well, maybe there's something bad going on in the air, something that we as humans can fix. Kind of a neat thing. So I hope you enjoyed this young lady. She is the one of a few amphibians that we're going to talk about over the next couple of weeks. And if you want to see her up close, you know where to come. Come to Zoo Montana. Check her out. She's fun to see in her little rainforesty type of exhibit that she's in, enjoying the moisture and the humidity and all the water that we like to give her. You just got to see her blink there. She winked at you. Until next time, I am Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana. See you real soon.